This is too much, man. Look at their perfectly done little legs and everything. Perfectly ported in or reanimated, I don't care. But this is as cute as it gets. What is going on guys? Ryan here playing Ark Survival Evolved just messing around with some crazy ass new mods because basically I just drove from like the desert like a straight up four and a half hour drive hung over as hell didn't even eat anything I felt like I was gonna die the entire drive. I finally got home. I'm choking just speaking finally got home ate a bagel ate a donut drank some coffee and I'm good to go but I do feel like I'm dying a little bit still so I figured today we just chill with an awesome mod review We don't always do these without like crazy battles and this one's dope too Like this is actually this is actually some pretty cool stuff right here right behind me so right here in front of me is Onyx, very freaking clearly for all my Pokemon fans out there. It's pretty damn dope, dude. Like, he's actually legitimately Onyx. He's, he's, like, size variation and everything. He's perfect. Look at the size of this guy. I always thought Onyx was one of the most underrated Pokemon ever, because he, he never really got much credit as a giant beast, but this thing in real life would actually destroy entire cities. There's no way to stop it. You can't shoot it. You can't, you can't kill it. There's, you know, you, you, I guess you can pour water on it if it's Pokemon, but in reality, that shit wouldn't do anything. It takes water like a thousand years to erode a rock into sand, and we don't have that kind of time. But he he's the first Pokemon we're going to be looking at, as well as these cages over here, because these cages are dope. But real quick, before you get your hopes too high for the Onyx, he does look like he's dry humping the air when you ride him. He's <laughs> not even dry humping the air. It looks like he's sucking some dick, if, if I had to pin- Actually, no, there you go. He's got a little worm crawl in it. It's actually really well done. Wow, that's beautiful. Kudos to the mod dev. That's actually a really clean thing. I mean, once you get over the whole giving dome thing, then it's just, it's it's actually perfect. I think what saves it is that little tail crawl at the bottom, you know? It's not pure dick suckage. It's, it's a little bit of emotion down there that makes it feel like more of a snail crawling along vibe. Snake, I should say. I don't know why the hell I said snail. How does it make any sense? Come on, buddy. He's just really funny when he bobs his head forward. I'm not gonna lie, but it's, it's, it's still pretty damn great. It's still Onyx for the most part. I like I couldn't create anything nearly this great. I think he's actually pretty damn awesome. I'm being too hard on our Onyx friend right now because my immaturity level is just skyrocketing right now, just through the roof. Now, let's see your health, buddy. Oh cool, he's like stand well, he's only level four too. But you hey, you don't want things to be ridiculously overpowered, because like Pokemon aren't supposed to be just like bosses found in the wild. This is like this is Pokemon's version of a wild cow right here. Nope, that, that really doesn't make any sense at all. But you don't want it to be some unstoppable beast. You know, it's got to be within the ballpark. You got to be able to kick its ass if you want. It's not like, oh shit, a level 4 Onyx. Oh my god. Like, that's that's pretty much bottom of the barrel right there. But very damn cool for a game that hasn't had Pokemon yet. I think that's my point. Alright, buddy, you chill there. Let's just check out these fences real quick. Make sure to smack that like button, by the way, if you like either of these mods, because then I will incorporate them more into my world. Now, this one... This thing right here just adds all these items right here from those like cage pillars, dinosaur gateways. It's just it's just different kinds of cages, but way more like arc crafted. This is the kind of shit we'd actually make if this was like the world we lived in. It wouldn't be like all fine, perfect walls and everything. It'd be like sticks tied together crudely with fiber is what it'd be. So this is like wall three. There's three different kinds of walls, which all are just random conjunctions of fucking sticks in different areas. This is the coolest thing though. Other than the gateway, look at the window. The window is a dinosaur skull. That is bad. That's a T-Rex lower jawbone. That's hard. That's the most awesome window I've ever seen. So there it is. So th this is amazing right there. I don't know. I'm pretty ecstatic over this thing. This is, this is a great creation. I am stuck in the wall now, though. Hang on. There we go. So, so be careful with it. You know, it's not. It's not a toy, damn it. But check out this dinosaur gateway over here. This thing's crazy too. I didn't build anything behind it because I'm lazy. But it's made out of T-Rex legs, like way to utilize the entire body. Damn, and spears on top, that's awesome. That is just too cool. Look at this, talk about spreading your legs, like, but a whole new meaning. And what's that on top, just like a giant femur? This is some badass stuff. This is, this should be an entire building tier, it should, or like structure tier. Like dinosaur bones, I feel like that's what you do, cause like, look at that, it's, it's awesome. It's even a stick just going through the handle, it's exactly how it would be in real life. Cause we, as humans, we use everything, you know, like, we kill a cow, we use, we eat its meat, we drain its milk, we use its skin for, like, freaking hide, we grind up its bones and turn it into gelatin for gummies, you use every aspect of an animal. So this would make the most sense. And it's big ass T-Rex feet right there, what, how, what a well done, man. To get all the meat off the bones like that is just such a talent, such a skill. Alright, come on, buddy! Nope, you son of a bitch, let me get on you. Where is he? It's all about the right spot. Dude, this is something they all should have done. They should have ridden Onyx a lot more in that TV show. What's going on here, buddy? Is this some sort of issue? What's slowing us down? Oh, did you see when I leveled him up? His little tail got all squiggly. What was that? That was awesome. 
All right, but I feel like you're in pain right now having to drag me around. You don't look like you're enjoying this much. Okay, I think Onyx has run his course in this video. He's There he is. He's pretty damn awesome. Of course, he's very large, so it's hard for him to navigate around little rocks, which is what I was trying to make him do, which isn't fair because he's kind of composed of little rocks, and that's like cannibalism. This next one is just everyone's dream right here to have added to their arc world. Look at this little fart. It's a perfect little Bulbasaur. I feel like you might need to adjust your gamma for this guy to be perfect, but I'm not gonna just in case my, ga my gamma needs to be how it is right now for other creatures. But look at this little fart just trolling through the world. This is great. Now there's two amazing Pokemon mods, because like this mod doesn't have a lot of the Pokemon that Mystic Academy adds, so like if you're just a diehard Pokemon fan, you kind of got to get both of them. But then you have so many freaking Pokemon in your world. Look at this little, look at this little arms and legs. He's, he's walking so perfectly. Look at those little, oh my god, he's so well done. The modeling on this creature is so perfected. You bitch! Look at this guy just ruining everyone's innocence by spitting his crap at me. You done messed up, sucker. Alright, Bulbasaur. Whoop, come on, buddy. There he goes. Look at him running in there. Oh my god, he's so cute. He's like a puppy. Holy shit, he's got Vine Whip. Oh my god, that's the most incredible thing I've ever seen in my life. I'm so happy this is like happening right now in front of me. This is like too much to witness right now. Holy shit. Dude, now you guys kind of have, have to... Is it a wild Bulbasaur across the lake over there just chilling? What a world! They're just like everywhere. Oh my god. These Pokemon are basically Viagra pills because they're gonna give everyone a giant throbbing boner. Come on, buddy. You're gonna go beat a trike up. Come on, look at him run. He looks like a he looks like a little shih tzu. He looks like a little buddy. Come on, turd blossom. Oh my god, he looks like an excited little dog. I can't handle this right now. I really I can't handle this right now. You adorable little fart. Come on, buddy, get over here. Come on, shit bubbles. I wish you could, like, level them up and then they would evolve. If There's two bubble stars, actually. They're very freaking common, apparently. I would want to turn spawning down. I want them to be kind of rare. So it's cool when I catch something. Get him, little farts. Oh, my God. I wonder if he knows any other attacks. I feel like he doesn't need to. I feel like you're going to get your ass kicked here. Oh, God. What is this? Okay, this is messed up. I'm sorry. I've, I've done wrong. Oh, my God. You killed Bulbasaur! Oh my god, look at his limp little corpse. That is brutal. His vines didn't even fully retract yet. You bastard! Now you messed up, buddy. Onyx, kick his ass! Dude, these guys are so amazing. Yeah, buddy, smack him in your face. Right? Is that what's going on here? Pure face smackage. You see, it looks like he's almost trying to do sexual favors. Now we're back to thinking you're weird again, Onyx. He's just such a large creature, getting his movements right sounds like almost impossible, but he's actually going pretty well. I wonder if he's like a remodeled death worm. I feel like that's what's going on here. That's why he moves so awkwardly, because they're not meant to be like ridden. Could that be a thing? People always like get on me in the comments like, Riot, why do you care? That's just a retextured so-and-so. It's like, are you serious? Sometimes they're so different when they're retextured. They're like a whole new creature. Okay, right, Onyx, I, I pictured you whooping the shit out of that guy. You were going to redeem this little fart, and you didn't. And he's so blindingly white. There we go. What's going on, Bell Sprout? These things are awesome. Look, only 80 health. That's pretty much what I'd imagine this thing would have. You don't look like that fortified of a creature. Come on, I'm gonna see those little legs. I'm gonna see those. Yes, look at those little legs moving. That is hysterical. You adorable little shit. Get over here. Oh my god. Oh, that's so funny. Every, anybody remember Arcade? My cousin I used to record with who always says he's gonna start recording any day now. He's on Dota too. He's, 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 he's on Dota. I know heroin addicts who do heroin less than he plays Dota. Actually, I don't really know any heroin. I've, on TV, I've seen them. All right, Bell Sprout, you ready to kick some ass? You little flower, there's no way you're gonna win this, but I don't care. He's so cute. Oh my god, that that thing's that that's adorable. Like that shit can actually live. He's just smacking it with his leaves too. Where are you going? Where? Ah! Damn, son! He straight up knocked him into the upside down. He got wrecked. All right, Bell Sprout, I think we all saw that coming. You're not much of a hero, are you? Is that a Vulpix across the lake? Oh my god. Oh, son of a bitch. I did not realize this was in here. Nido King, you are now- You are now one of the most badass things in this game. Look at this. Look at this creature. Allow me to ride upon you. Okay, that just looks dorky as hell. But either way- <laughs> You go, Felix. He's got his little horn stab. I love how they all have their own animations. I feel like these- these creatures are ported over from some Pokemon game. I don't know which Pokemon game- but there's no way in hell these creatures aren't ported over from some Pokemon game. I feel like someone got inspired by the Monster Hunter mod dev and and, and responded by bringing in these things. And I have no complaints because this shit is awesome. Is that just a giant salmon right there? Holy crap, look at the size of this fish. Look at the size of this salmon for the love of- Come here, don't even swim away from me. 
Oh my god, a 3.2. I think that's the biggest one I've ever seen. It's a giant freaking cell. Oh god, I'm trapped inside of it. Come on, buddy. You've got to whoop someone's ass. All right, get out of the water. There we go. You can kick this thing's butt. Oh my god, look how cute it is. Look at this little Vulpix just chilling in the wild. About to be squashed into nothing. This is essentially what you do in Pokemon games. You just have your Pokemon walk around beat. Oh, you put him asleep. That's awesome. You are poisonous. Or venomous. Would it be venomous? I think it's venomous. Poison, you have to swallow. Venom gets injected. He's venomous. He puts creatures to sleep. And he even managed to put this little guy to sleep without uh, killing him. At first, until he killed him. So this might be one of the best things used for taming. Or one of the, or one of the best things used for taming Pokemon, I mean. If you're going to be badass and tame Pokemon with other Pokemon. Go to sleep, bitch. Oh. Rex. Don't even. Is he asleep? Yes, look at that. Just a perfect little Bulbasaur right for the pickings. That is hilarious. This is too much. What a magnificent beast. I'm so in love with this thing. He's huge, too. What is going on, big fella? Look at this. I really, honestly, it's been so long since I've messed with most of these first-gen Pokemon. Like, so freaking long. I'm like, Nido King and Nido Queen. I can't remember which one was supposed to be blue or pink, but I'm just going to take the mod dev's word for this. Either way, this creature's so damn well done. Even if it is ported in. I don't care if it's ported in. People get bothered when I say something's well done if the creature's not actually created by the mod dev, but it's successfully added to Ark, and well done on that. Exactly. There, I think I've adjusted the game. I don't know, it's so difficult. I've just messed with the game for like five minutes straight, and there's different parts where there are always, certain ones are always going to be shiny, certain ones are always not going to be. But this creature's so well done too. What's going on, you little fart? All right, I'm going to have just Paris over here follow me. And just, okay, can you can you just not do anything, Needle King? If, I, if you could just... If you can just, just run away, actually, just literally, okay, just don't do a thing. Dude, you just killed a Pikachu! I turned around for a second and he killed a Pikachu. Where did the Pikachu body go, you sick little bastard? Oh my god. Come on, Paris. Come on, buddy. Get ready to fight this Bulbasaur to the death. God, this is amazing. What a time to be alive. Oh, he just got spat webs out, son. I love how they each have different moves. Look at Vine whipping him. Jesus Christ, this is like too much to handle right here. This is too much for my hungover brain to contemplate. Look at these, like, supposed to be a spider. So maybe they aren't ported in. This is just a retextured spider, so that, never mind. That just blows all my beliefs. Oh my god, Bulbasaur is bloody. That just ruined my childhood right there. And yeah, I guess that shatters my whole belief system about anything being ported in. Right there, that does it. But dude, bloody Bulbasaur. Shits, man. That is like, that's a right in the childhood. Check out this little Pikachu. Sitting on my, is he sitting on me? What the hell is going on there? Jesus Christ, these, these Pokemon are so bright. See, look, see how he's like down there on the floor, perfectly colored? If I adjust it so he is, so this Pikachu is perfectly colored, then this guy down there becomes ridiculously white. It's It's been a little bit of a dilemma for me. I kind of just have to mess around with it till you find like the exact perfect one. But um, that's something my hungover ass is not capable of doing at this second. I'll have to do it after. All right, Pikachu. I want to see some craziness, buddy. Let's see it. Little electric mouse. They're so cute. Look at both of them. Pikachu, what are you doing? Okay, well, his running animation is by far the cutest shit I've ever seen. You don't even need to attack anybody, buddy. Just come run behind me. Look, he's just, just such a little electric mouse. Oh, my God. I think him and, him and Bulbasaur are definitely my favorites, cause, just because they're running. Look at this. Come on, buddy. Come on, pick up a gallop. Do it, you son of a bitch. There he goes. Or if you just have him attack something, then he sprints in after it. Dude, what a world. Oh my god. Okay, he can't look at this dead one right here. This is just, this is just a, a, oh god, dragging around a dead Pikachu. Oh my Jesus, shit, that is harsh right there. <laughs> look at me holding a dead Pikachu. What'd you catch for dinner? I don't know, this little yellow thing. It kept screaming Pika P as I chopped its gullet. Just throw that over there. No, no one needs to see that. Oh, come on, man. Oh, this isn't even funny. This is funny with every kind of corpse except Pikachus. All right, get out of here. Scat, get out of here, buddy. You know what? Dead Pikachu's coming with us. Live Pikachu, come on. You're attacking Bulbasaur. It's going down, man. The battle of the cutest. Look, at, look, he's just such a little electric mouse fart. What are you going to do? I don't think Pikachu can attack yet. I'm actually a thousand percent sure Pikachu can't attack yet because, you know, he's just, he's just standing behind him, really. Sniffing his butt for the most part. Oh my god, that's so damn cute. This <laughs> Look at these adorable little farts just hanging out. That is so funny. Just following behind his buddy off on a little adventure. This is too much, man. Look at their perfectly done little legs and everything. Perfectly ported in or reanimated. I don't care. But this is as cute as it gets. 
Look at this show. Oh my god, they're bonding. <laughs> this is the Pokemon game we've all been waiting for. And honestly, now there's, you'd have two Pikachus if you go Mystic Academy. But Mystic Academy Ultra has like... Electro or Electro and Voltorb. What are, what's the names I'm forgetting? I'm forgetting a bunch of names, man. First gens was so long ago. But um, like Jigglypuff and a few others are Mystic, so if you add them all, you have like legit almost 20 Pokemon in your world. Whoever makes Mewtwo first is awesome. Mewtwo or oh, Charizard, dude. Whoever makes Charizard first just is gonna be the mod I play with that day. <laughs> no, Shiny Nido King, you dick! Oh my god, I spawned you in for a second. You are humongous. Holy ball sack. You are a giant fella. This guy, I, I, god damn it. Okay, you guys are the cutest. No argument there. But this guy takes the badass cake for sure. I mean, feel free to comment down below your favorite Pokemon in this little mod pack so far. Just so I'm, just so I know which ones to always make sure I, get, I throw in the fight. But this, oh god damn it. This just takes me back to like fifth grade when Pokemon toys were at McDonald's. I think for the first time. What a wondrous time to be alive. God, oh, this guy's so amazing. I'm still gonna go kick the shit out of the salmon right here in the water. It's like, it's just, it's an inevitability. It's what I'm doing today. Oh, and he swims so beautifully, so perfectly. I mean, not really that well. It looks like he's kind of just fast walking, but it's so fluidly, it just goes with it. There's zero friction resistance in this journey. Oh, what's going on, little buddy? Dude, I am so happy to come home and just have all this fun stuff to mess with. What a world! Oh my god, Pikachu got killed by a piranha. This is why we can't have nice things, because that shit is horrific. They never really talk about it in Pokemon that much. Like, there's not really that many Pokemon deaths. Unless you, like, read into the actual storyline. How, like, Cubone's- the skull on Cubone's face is, like, his mom's skull, and that's why he freaks out if you touch it and all that kind of stuff, but- But, um, what was I talking about? Either way, this guy's badass, and I love him. And I love all the other Pokemon. And I love those other cages, too. It's just all the funness, man. Just throw that in the pile of awesome mods we already have and call that a day. So, um, so yeah, if you guys want to see more of this stuff, definitely make sure to smack that like button, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace! Yeah.